starting new game. Well, it seems like every time I start a new game, it loads into black screen, so I'm going to have to see if I can get this working again. Alright, and continuing game. Let's see if this works. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, so... I've started playing this game a bit. I've got a handle on how the controls work and adjusted the camera move speed. And uh, starting a new one just to re record it. Get my start of that YouTube life. Right. So I already kind of know what's going on here. I'm just going to go through this tutorial. I know I got to pull these crystals out. Give me uh, extra, extra abilities. The more crystals I get. I think it's kind of funny that it's uh, a lot like climbing. I've only climbed in a gym, a climbing gym, you know, like a rock climbing gym. But when you get to the top, it gets a little sketchy when you come over here. You can't just let go of the rock. You gotta keep struggling to get up over the, the crest, or otherwise you fall back down. It's kind of funny. It's kind of true to form. Alright, here we go. Now I gotta get these. These things are like parachutes. And they do that. So I kind of figured out some strategies. Like that. Just kind of grab onto whatever you can as soon as you get near it. And you can do some epic parkour. Like that. I hear a crystal. It's over here somewhere. There it is. I've already explored this area, but I don't quite remember what exactly I'd, I'd, I'd seen. So I'm just going to kind of check over here for a bit for any crystals. Because the sooner you get the crystals, the sooner you get your power-ups, 
and they're rather helpful. Also notice you can kind of do bunny hopping if, if you've ever played Counter-Strike. You can gain some speed by jumping if you do it right. And similarly in this you can just keep jumping and gain momentum. See I'm moving pretty quick now. Alright. Oh, can't stop. Can't stop. So I found out these things, and I've been watching other people play. These things uh, are checkpoints, but they're they're more than just checkpoints. They're it displays their map, but they're also scanners. So if you grab some of these things, if you pull them into here. Hopefully, yeah, there it goes. It'll scan, scan the object to the database. There it goes. Now it's floating. I'm not sure what exactly that does. It's just a kind of like a collectible in the data bank. That's what it's called. Now it shows you the information that it normally wouldn't have. I guess my goal with this game is to try and collect everything. Everything I can, anyway. And it seems just about everything scans into here, like animals and plants. But the rocks don't. I took I, I grabbed a rock and pulled it in there. It doesn't it doesn't do anything. Back to these crystals. Oh wait, no, this one first. Here we go. Hey buddy. Yeah. Save you from the rocks. Did I grab one of these already? Oh. These things just kind of suck everything up into them. It's hard to get away from them. See, the, the goat just went back in there. Which I don't want because it can only scan one item at a time. Okay. Come on. 
grab the sheep. Come on, sheep, get out of here. Let's go. Alright, so I'm going to take my time exploring this ground level here. I know there's quite a few crystals that I can get. And I really want that next power up. The next power up is a uh, a jetpack. So it really got me into this game, or at least how I heard about it was from uh, from Kurt. I guess I'm doing a little shout out from you know for an already successful YouTuber. But uh, Kurt J Mac from Mindcrack was playing this game, and also Vintage Beef also from Mindcrack. And I've been watching their their Let's Plays or whatever they call them nowadays, and uh, I just was really into the game, watching them play, and so on my little laptop that's not very uh, robust, I guess to uh, graphically managing to record this at 17 frames per second, which is pretty terrible. We'll see how this first video turns out. Oh wait, no, the next power-up's not the jetpack, it's the camera. Still need it. Right now the camera's up really close. And uh, I find that um, it's hard to see what's around you when you can only see what's up close. As you can see, I already kind of know where certain things are. So in climbing, this jumping technique is called a dyno, which is short for dynamic move, where basically the difference between a dynamic move and a regular move is that it's dynamic. Well, I guess a static move is one where you just move, you go for a hold without letting go of the face of the rock or gym wall if you're doing indoor climbing. Um, and that way you always have some point of contact, or usually three, sometimes two, some point of contact when you grab your next hold. But with a dynamic move, you have no contact or, or an unbalanced um, contact with the wall where let's say you have just your legs and usually you can't stand on just your legs on tiny little holds and so you have to grab something really quick when you let go with your other hand in order to maintain balance on the on the wall like that like if I didn't grab on anything I would just fall fall back down so that's called a dynamic move because it's dynamic you can't just take your time. You have to make sure you grab something. I don't remember if there's, if there's
there's anything up here. I do hear another crystal. Watch that boulder go down. Oh, there it is. There's a crystal. Yeah, when you're rock climbing, don't ever do that. Good thing this is a game. <laughs> Here another one. Pretty sure it's down here. Nope. Yep. Getting sweaty palms. Oh okay. Oh, I have the camera already. There we go. Oh, there, that's what I was going for. Forgot about that. Uh, sideways movement in climbing is called traversing. And you can do sideways traversing dinos as well. I'm just trying to power through this because I've already done it. Hopefully this recording works out because I'm just wasting my time if it doesn't. I'll have to do this again. There should be a third time. If you need to defend climbing, you could use a parachute to do that. <laughs> Just jump off the face and then glide for however many feet. And then grab back onto something? I don't think that would be possible. People have base jumped after climbing up uh, cliff faces, but I don't think they've been able to grab back onto a, a wall after. So now, I'm pretty sure there's nothing up here, but I'm coming up to get the lay of the land. Oh, whoa, oh, right on the edge. Let's see if I can see any more crystals. You can definitely hear some. Oh, is there still one in the cave, maybe? Sounds like it. Oh, there it is. Is that it? Yeah, I don't hear any more. Oh. Oh. All right. Let's do some more ground level exploring. Ooh. Oh, another technique is always look at the ground because the grabbing mechanism kind of uses your view to uh, To select the spot on the ground you want to grab. Is there anything over here? Doesn't sound like it. I read you here. Oh, it's over there. Man, 
we can do some epic parkour in this. I'm sure. Oh, I feel it. Oh. I feel like you could do some like Prince of Persia wall run here, like like that. All right, let's climb this. Figure out what's up here. some more crystals down there maybe oh, grab okay yeah, that crystal sounds probably up on this rock up here you do two things at once or I could just climb it I'll do so this is the whole point of this game not just the climbing and gathering of little crystals, but to grow home, which is uh, you grow this plant that, or, or a semblance of a plant, resemblance, semblance. Anyway, this star shoot connects to that little yellow thing, and like that, which grows the larger, I guess, stem. Whoa. Where am I? Did I fall? I think I did. And what you're trying to do is Grow this thing 2,000 meters. Let me top out there. There we go. All right, so now I could just do this. All right, sometimes the camera can get a little uh, wonky. This thing. There it is. Let's see if I oh oh if I can grab yeah there we go. Didn't want to fall trying to grab this thing. So th this character has some kind of a momentum and oh 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 don't want to grab onto that. It's not stable has a momentum and if you don't stop yourself it'll uh just continue moving off the edge oh okay here we go kind of want to check around to see make sure I got all the crystals on the ground here before I go on Hear any over here? Pretty sure I got all that. I went around the back side of that. Yeah, I did. All right. So next, next thing. Onto this, oh shoot, yeah, this thing here, this ridge. If it sounds, if it sounds like I have a lisp, it's mostly due to my my mic, but I may have a little bit of a lisp IRL, so it's not helping. There we go. Alright, 
to this, I need some strategy. Make sure I point the camera, that's kind of the direction you go is where the camera's pointing. So point the camera where I want to go. Jump, deploy that thing, and grab on. Probably could have gone a little higher. Let's see. This, the longer distances get a little challenging because uh, the plant likes to wobble. Okay, let's see. Come on. There we go. Alright, so I made it so up is up, down is down, and it's all in reference to the camera. I mean, not the camera, the screen. When I, when I press up on the, the left stick, it goes up towards the top of the screen. Yeah, so these little V's here, these are challenging. What happens is you kind of get stuck in Oh, I didn't, not this time. Kind of get stuck in them. Pop out, grab, grab. Alright, grab this thing. Oh, didn't get it. There we go, 18, 19. Now I get the uh, jetpack. Jetpack. This is the, the famed jetpack that everybody's been searching for in Grand Theft Auto. Right here. Don't hear any more crystals. Alright, well I'm going to test my recording and I'll be back. And recording. Audio sync. One, two, three. One, two, three.